Evening. Time a couple of minutes late. Sort this camera out. Do 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 do. Hello, evening everybody. Let's give it a few minutes, see if anyone else joins. Can you hear me okay, or are you all watching on mobile phones? Right, let's make a start anyway. Right, cheers for joining. And um, yeah, going to do some painting tonight. Uh, got Probably got just over an hour and a bit. Um, so, see how we go. We've got Cromwell here. Also got a uh, half track. Uh, probably start off with a Cromwell because we'll get, this, get a wash on this one and um, go from there. So... All I've done so far is I've followed the old uh, British European camo. So I've done the done the base base coat. I've done the dry brush. Um, I've done the dry brush of uh, army green. So that's turned out pretty cool. I've painted the wheels black, and uh, the tracks are black as well. Uh, I've done that with a bad and black. Um, it's had a, a light wash of uh, Estonian Camo Shave 50-50 mix. Um, so that's looking pretty cool. So next step is going to be um, the decals for this one. And I've got those right here. British decals. And I am going to do that in... Guard. I'll tell you, yeah, I'm going to do that in the guards. So let me get my trusty scalpel. Oh, hearing you very well. Hello. Just seen, just seen it on the, the comments. Um, I don't know what the delay is. I think it's about 40 seconds. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do it in the guards, um, guards decals. So I'm just going to cut these out. I think that's what I'm going to do. Main my main British stuff as is going to be guards. Um, so obviously we're we're with the British stuff. Uh, it all works. All these different symbols. Each I think each one of these symbols is a different. I think it's a troop or which battalion they are. So I think just say for example, reds first, yellow second, square is third. And fourth, for example, or recon. Um, numbers are the actual number of the tank, so what number tank it is. Um, obviously, the decals for regiment. Um, you've also got these ones here. I've seen I've seen these um, for like the small armored cars. Uh, that's the smaller numbers, but you've also got these uh, small circular ones. I have actually got, if you give me two seconds, let me see if I can uh, find it. That you can go along with me. Did I save it? I'm sure I probably did. This car is 2020. Just trying to see if I can find the article I was reading. That's 40k Minecraft guard. Hmm. 
That's typical, isn't it? I can't see it, which is really annoying. Um, let's just do a bit of the old uh, googly. Um, so, British tank insignia. Let's see if it comes up with what I need it to be. Oh, there it is. I think is this the right yep yeah, flame flames of war do one i'll put the link in um the description so you can have a look with me so it's there on flames of war uh it gives you it's quite handy actually because all these ones uh i think apart from the no fourth canadian well not the fourth canadian but the canadian armor division are in well, that could be maybe a different version but yeah, and you can also look up where they were. So it gives you like the examples. So I'm going guards, I'm a division. Um, I think I've got a funny feeling I have already got my um, one of my tanks is already guards, I believe. I, I've, I know my armor car is it because I didn't know what it was, was is uh, the, the old Czechs armored brigade. Um, but for the time being, it's a shame I can't really show you what I'm seeing on screen. But obviously, he's got the link. I'm just having a look through now, and I'm just looking at the uh, the guards' armor division. Gives you a little bit of information on them. But um, yeah, and you can also see where, like examples of where like all the stuff is. Um, you can also look on Warlord's website. So. So if I type in Warlord Games, Cromwell, it's all about a bit of uh, bit of googly research. So there's the cruiser. You can just have a look, see where they've uh, put the decals. Or you just Google uh, Cromwell decals. Yeah, because I think they did a resin one of this or a pre. Yeah, they do. They do a battle ready. So they already, uh, Warlord, do a um, Cromwell battle ready, which I didn't actually know about. It's already painted. Um, but I'll put that, I'll pop that link in there. So there's a battle ready one. I didn't even know they did pre painted stuff. This is, that's all new to me. Um, that is very new to me, actually. <laughs> How interesting. If we type in Cromwell tank insignia, we should get some images. Yeah, so I've got some images here. Just on Google. Um, it's quite interesting, actually, because you learn a bit of history behind it all, you know? It's quite quite a lot in there. You can actually see which uh, battalions and things like that actually were in the, the campaign that, you were, that you're uh, trying to recreate. Uh, it's pretty cool. So it might not even be real historically accurate. You know, the Cromwell might not have even been with the guards, but I'm going to do it because why not? So let's go on that first link anyway. Let's open that up. And so I am going to go... They're going to be part of the armor brigade. Um, or do I? Yeah, I'm going to make them part of the armor brigade. So they're not a machine gun battalion. Um, what brigade they are, and if they are going to be second armor battalion, uh, which is the grenadier guards, uh, the coldstream guards, or they could be the Irish guards. So I'm probably going to go with the grenadiers. So that would that will mean red diamonds. 
will be mean it's regimental HQ. Um, so they're going to be part of the regimental HQ for the second battalion Grenadier Guards. So let's go with that. So let's get these diamonds cut out. Diamonds cut out, cool, along with those. And 51, so I need to find 51, which says 251s here, perfect. Yeah, 51 for the Grenadiers. If I put it as 50, it would technically be the Battalion HQ. How is everybody, anyway? Everyone all good? So they're there and there. Right. So I'm going to stick a layer of art coat. Just where I'm going to put these. So to the back, to the front. Go like that. There's not. I don't need a lot, so I'm literally not even using a palette for this bit. So there, there, just there. You just double check the other position. You've got that one, that one. A bit down there. You've also got the side of the tank, uh, the turret, sorry. Just that side. And that side there. So just give that a minute. And cut one of these numbers out down the bottom. So it's quite good because it gives you some like uh, information here. So you've got different battalions give you different, it gives you different information about those <laughs> armor battalions, which is quite smart, really. Quite like that flames of war bit. It is quite uh, quite interesting. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to chop these up a little bit. I'm going to stick one of these. Just cut out one of these here. The only thing that uh, Warlord don't give you actually with these, they don't give you a number, a number plate. It's a little bit annoying. Hello, whoever's joined. Thanks for joining. Okay, we're getting somewhere. All right, let's just get some water over here. Just literally need some so that these uh, transfers can sit in. All right, that 
update for a minute. Has anyone managed to get any hobby done this week? Those transfers soaking. Get these bad boys in there. What we'll do while they're soaking and that's drying, we'll get some painting done on this half track anyway. Um, so I'm going to use Army Green from Army Painter. Give it a shake. I would use, um, be using the agitator, but guess what? Liam's uh Liam's other bottles turned up, so he's got he's got it. <laughs> Literally, I gave it to him today. So give that a good shake. That little little bit there. And I need to add some water to this. Right. Thin this paint down, get it nice and thin. So I've literally put a dab on, like a drop, and it's going to do loads. So. Make sure we're dust free. But nice start again. Really thin paint again. Be quite opaque. But that's fine because multiple thin coats is better than one really thick coat. That's it. I'm literally painting the whole chassis and everything in this colour. To be fair, that's thin. Is that a germ from two I see on the go? Uh, gives it away a little bit. <laughs> gives it a tad away, doesn't it? See, look, you come into the live streams, you get first look at what's going on. Let's try that. Let's see what that's like. That's a little bit better. Still thin, but a tad thicker, which is good. But yes, Seb, that is, if you look, it's a Deutsche Africa core. So there you go. First look. Do you like the Africa core then, Seb? So the trick, I, another trick I find, you know, I've only really discovered proper wetting my paints down recently. But like if I get a clog up build like like I've got around here, I much prefer the Blitzkrieg Germans. Yeah, you do like the Blitzkrieg Germans, to be fair. 
they are pretty cool. But these are pretty cheap, so. And I like the hats. Gives me a bit of variety. What was I saying? Yeah. So if you thin your paints down and you get a bit of clog and it's not that much of a drama in like the recess areas because you can just go along afterwards like now I'm doing now. And just thin it out a little bit. So I'm just getting it all out. Just using the brush just to move it about. And the thing is, really thin paint dries really smoothly. So, just making sure that's good. Yeah. See, like that side there, it's already starting to dry a little bit. And I can't really see. I haven't got the big lights out behind. But, um, yeah, it's already starting to dry really, um, really smooth. Looks like it's airbrushed, which is uh, quite a neat little trick, isn't it? Once you once you start looking at stuff and it looks like it's airbrushed, you're like, oh, you're definitely doing something right. Just means more more paint layers. Speaking of airbrushes, <laughs> I might have. Uh, well, I haven't. I, I haven't technically bought it yet. I'm buying an airbrush which is quite a big step for me because I've never used one. Um, but I'm buying it second-hand of someone at a local gaming club. And um, it's a badger, so I'm looking forward to using it. But there's one snatch. It's at Christmas because I'm using it as Christmas, getting it as a Christmas present. So I'm, I'm buying it now and then uh, not giving it to myself for Christmas but getting my missus to give it to me for Christmas. Um but it's just so I can have it because it's a really good price. <laughs> I can really say no. And I'm really looking forward to priming uh, in the um, in the winter and actually being able to prime. I don't know if anyone else has got an airbrush, um, if they've got any tips or anything like that, because I have literally, I have never used them. So all I've literally been doing is uh, try and do research videos, <laughs> how to use an airbrush, back to basics with an airbrush. It's uh, Yeah, it's been pretty interesting with that. But I think that's going to open up my painting arsenal, especially when it comes to priming. Priming models is going to be beautiful. Very much uh, looking forward to being able to do that and not actually having to use a rattle can. And eventually, over time, hopefully... Um, <laughs> I will just prime this half track and stuff it across this. Welcome, welcome. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to. <laughs> Watching from the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, your half track, I gather it's for the Americans. Working on US Marine, United States Marine contrast paints for camo pattern. Yeah, uh, I have. I haven't got any US Marine models. Otherwise, I would have uh, definitely been trying to do that. Um, I am trying to get some, but the problem is I don't want to just buy a whole box of US Marines just for one model because that's all I need at the minute. I can't. I can't possibly have about fifty armies on the go, can I? I've got enough as it is. What have I actually got? Let's work this out. I've got British paratroopers, British army, Koreans, German Africa Corps, Italians. That's Italian army. Uh, German uh, grenadiers. Oh, don't even start, Lou. German, German grenadiers. Um, and I think that's... Oh, no, and North Korea. Yeah, I've said Koreans, I know. So I've got... I've got seven bolt action armies. Oh, and American paratroopers, unless I've said that, and Americans. I don't know. I've got lots. Oh, you just done the 88? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you base it on a CD? But yeah, I've got too many armies, so I need to just get the single models, but it's real nightmare trying to find a single model. 
Yeah. No, that's a good idea. The thing is, when you get like the option to do camo sometimes, it's really quite nice to uh, to actually do it. I think because it makes your army look that little bit nicer as well. I do like I do like a camo jacket. It is um it is a uh, it is rather nice. I think we're doing well for paint on here. No CD. Got it on a piece of foam board surrounded by some clay sandbags for now. Yeah, no, that, that CD, the CD method is uh, is actually worked really well. Really, really well. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. Quite tricky with contrast, but yeah, it can be. The, the trick with the contrast, obviously, is to start with the lighter colours and then do the dark colours because the dark colours will go over the light colours but the light colours won't go over the dark colours so easily. So you'd have to, obviously, if you're going to do it the other way around, you'd have to put the Wraith Bone back over if you're using Wraith Bone or Russian Grey or whatever you're using as your primer. Um, I have had quite a bit of experience with the contrast now. And, uh, yeah, definitely start with the uh, the lighter colours first. Um, but don't, as well, don't, don't feel like you have to use the GW sprays. I don't know if you feel like you have to, because you don't. It's... Um, you know, a grey is a grey at the end of the day. As long as it's smooth, a grey is a grey. A light, a light colour for a base coat is fine. So I, I've got... Uh, the only reason I've got the Eshin grey and the Wraith Bone cheap is because I got it cheap from Triple Helix Games when I was up there a couple of months ago. Um, I, can, I can get it at uh, the old Test Valley models now, and that's at 15% off. But just, you know, grey is grey, isn't it? I, I'm I, I'm quite a fan of you, the contrast paints. I think they're really good, um, especially when they first come out. I was well hyped about it, and um, you got, you know, you got Liam as well. He's, um, I think Liam would agree that they, for him, they've got a place. So like fantasy and forty k and stuff like that. But I don't think he really likes them. Second World War per se. I'm not too sure, but. That's that's the kind of vibe I get for him. He can defend himself in the chat, but um, that's the vibe I get because um, I think he thinks I think he thinks they're a bit too bright. But obviously they're a bit bright. But you can dull them down with washes. But then you've got the argument of cases. Okay, use the contrast paints, but you're still having to put a wash on because you want to dull them down, like an Agrax or an old oil or something. But what's the point of using contrast when you could just use uh, the base paints, for example, um, and then put a wash on them anyway? So I would, for me, that's why I left the Americans how they are because I didn't want to then go back and wash them all because that, to me, defeats the object of using the contrast paints. I primed with uh, army paint and matte white spray and then used contrast over my grenadiers. Yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. Um, I don't, I've never used, uh, well, I've used one of the army painter sprays, um, the uniform gray. That was really good. Um, and I've got the orc, uh, green, I think it is, but problem I have with the army painter spray can, um, they would be interesting. I know this one that, um, the uniform gray, the, the tip clogged. Um, and I thought it was the whole can. So I started like half a paint of can. I thought, ah, so I, me being me, I didn't chuck it away anyway. And then I bought the green. So I thought, oh, just for the hell of it, I'll try the try the new the green tip in the thing. And it worked. I was like, oh, so it's the tip. So I don't know if they're renowned for having issues with uh, tips clogging and stuff. Um, so I'm not too sure. And white's always a really tricky color to spray prime anyway. Um, that's why I try and do an off-color white. That's why that Wraith Bone's so good. Because it's like a white, but it's not a white. And it's in that... Um, it's it it's got that new gw stuff that does stop it doing that um speckling and going all crusty like corax white don't even people in the chat are going to think are probably thinking corax white Ooh. <laughs> nightmares but um yeah that's why i do like that wraith brain spray primer for a really light one but um 
or someone else using the air wilkinson spray spray primer is spray primer at the end of the day let's see what i've got in here there you go right poundland right poundland this this matte gray primer yeah as long as you put it in warm water so not boiling but warm water for five minutes before you prime give it a good shake good minute good two minutes right absolutely fine absolutely fine it stinks this one because i could imagine it's got some nasty stuff in it so you want to be wearing a mask um and definitely don't do it indoors but this for a gray spray primer and they also do it black as well you know it's perfect it's absolutely perfect what other stuff have i got in here so yeah so i've got this um this was 195 it's a bony sort of uh creamy color uh, it's designed for plastic um it's got a satin finish um me and liam have done a few things in it i did some of the death guard models which i haven't got anymore i got i got rid of them but um yeah it was it was all right it was all right for fantasy models um for priming for that um so yeah that was quite good also amazon i couldn't find a brown anywhere and i really wanted a brown spray primer this was like 4.95 um so yeah it's crazy you don't need to use the big expensive brands a great you know but of course everyone always likes to use them what have we got here what's liam saying i don't think they're a bit bright but for bulk armies i think they're great yeah yeah they are you're right need to uh, get some of those cheap grays yeah you do gumbo you certainly do mate they're, they're a quid do you know what i mean pound you you can't argue of a pound all right so that's dry already now so i can go back over with another coat of this um i'll just do the interior quickly give that a coat so while that's drying in the interior i can start putting those decals on on the on the cromwell that'll probably take about 20 minutes to dry on the cromwell after i put the decals on and then we can get some painting on the go with that but i'm just literally still doing the base colors for this because see this is when the color match stuff's really handy because i i sprayed this with the um oh what is it or green or something from army painter what color is it i will remember in a minute What's well, this green from Army Painter, but I can't remember for the life of me what it is. But it's it's not the Army Green, um, which I wanted. Um, it was the it's pretty sure it's the Orc Green. But if I had the Army Green, this 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 step wouldn't happen. You know what I mean? It's um, you could just spray this Army Green and then start the next step. But because I only had that green, I'm having to go through this process. Same same with these tanks originally. I um didn't have the correct color so i used uh well you got angel green or castellan green in the gw but i use castellan green um to build up the layers um that took about six coats against uh against even a gray because it was a uh, it was um it's quite opaque but like i say looking forward to that airbrush or oh. <laughs> Very much looking forward to that airbrush, and I'm sure Liam will be like, "Ken boy, it's cold outside. Can you uh, can you prime some models for me, please?" And I'll go, "Yeah, 25p a model." <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, Let's get that. I was trying to get this coat done quickly. Let's give the uniform a little color coat as well because that's gonna go eventually just in there i think on the back door and i think yeah it's still quite opaque which is fine because it's not going to cover in one coat anyway That's like the top tip for me now. What I tell everybody, if you think your paint's thin enough, it's not. Thin it again. Thin it some more. Because look at this. This is like really, I mean, this is really thin. Probably a bit too thin for what it should be. But it's, it's like smooth as butter on there. I mean, it's not even thick. But um, yeah, just 
get this get the hood on here again this has been two layers on this hood now from the green so let's get that going again all right so let's leave that for a minute that dry give that a little wash out okay so the fun is now about to begin i'm just keeping an eye on these yeah so i'm gonna actually do that quickly um no it's a tiny bit of paint starting to build up at the bottom there in the ferrule so i'm gonna use my brush cleaner so i don't want to ruin these brushes if anyone's not used brush cleaner before or brush soap as it's known i'm literally just rolling this around so just wet it, wet the brush, and then just roll it around like this. Work it in. Don't put too much pressure because you don't want to bend the, br the bristles out of shape. But, you know, I just want it to work in like it's done there. It's right in the, right in the end there. What's he got? What's going on here? What are we talking about spray primer again? Fancy doing some early wall SS with contrast paints. Just need... Good tutorial video. <laughs> Is that a hint, Seb? <laughs> oh, dear. What we got here? Brenda, I promise with army paint. Um, that spray, yep, yeah, done that. Uh, he's working, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a bit bright, but I like it. I got it super smooth, about 10 inches away. Yeah, sweet. That's cool. Turn the spray upside down and do a burst to clear the nozzle. I have never had an issue to show up close if you can you can paint. Oh, the half track. I just got this German from the Band of Brothers box. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did a really cool uh, speckly camo scheme with that, actually, in one of my half tracks, which is um, pretty handy, really. Uh, it's quite quite easy to do, actually. So basically, you prime it a color, whatever color. You've got a choice of three colors, whatever you want it to be, really. You can prime it gray if you wanted to go with that. But you choose three colors. So there's like a green, a brown, and a cream. And um, you just do random patterns all over the model. So like big blotches and stuff like, uh, what's the best way? I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll find a camo. Let me just find German half, German... World War II camo tanks. Speckles. Let's go to images. Right, paste. Right, that there will take you to some uh, stugs, and uh, it will. Um, if you look at the very bottom, you'll see like a funny sort of like patterny sort of thing. You can blotch your pack paints like that, but the the trick is you put your base layers down. But then, say like you've got the green, and you've got the brown and the cream. You do dots of brown and cream in the green. And then in the cream, you do dots of green and brown. And in the brown, you do dots of cream and green. So you just do the opposite colors, but choose one to be the base for that and then do the odd speckles. It's such an easy camo to do. Um, really, really is pretty easy. And it looks really good as well. Does look really cool. All right, okay, so these are looking good to go. All right, let's take the turret off for the minute, just because it's a bit easier to work with. Okay, all right, so I've got my decal 
obviously be blooming careful because I'm using a sharp knife here. But according to my thing, I've got the grenadier symbol. Or the guards, I should say. It's not the grenadiers. But guard on the back here. It's going to want that to straighten out. There's a really cool trick for this as well. If you put it on and realize, oh dear, I've done it wrong. All you need to do is get it get it wet, let it soak again, soak in, and it will move. Uh, you'll be able to move it. Tell you what. I'll tell you what, give me... 20 seconds and I'll get one. So give me 20 seconds. Just getting out of the bag. Right, I'm back. Well, I was in the same room, so I'm not back. So it is really quite a simple design. Let's see if I can get the light there. You can see there, it's literally dots all over the thing. Nice and simple. Get that light a bit closer just for a second. That's better. Yeah, it's really cool. Cool little half tracks. A few close-ups during the back times. <laughs> I'll remind you who got you into the hobby. I, I don't need to pay 25p a model. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Liam. You just, uh, just ruined my life. <laughs> Uh, decals make me so intimidated i've never attempted it that you shouldn't it shouldn't be you shouldn't feel intimidated by it it's um you know I'd, I'd never tried it before and i'll tell you what once you start it you can't stop so literally all you're doing is you're just wetting it you just got to be really gentle just be gentle with it gentle 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 that's it that's all you need to do be gentle And let's be honest, right? You're using you use, you're not doing the decals at the minute for your models. Okay, so what's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to not you're going to fluff it up, and the decals will be ruined. Okay, but you didn't have them on there in the first place. You weren't using them anyway. So give it a go. It's just getting it on that surface flat. It's just about taking your time. Yeah. So I still think I've fluffed this up, actually. I think I've put that in the wrong place. I'll double check. Let's check that out. No, technically, uh, not really. 
At the end of the day, it's up to you where you want to put it. The 88 barrel, there's three. Yeah, I know. I've done it. <laughs> I, I have done it. Um, the trick I found with that, because it was a bit tricky, um, was literally you get the decal, you start at the top, so you get one end of it dangling off like the end of the blade here. You start it, and then you just you don't even need to wrap it around. It sort of, sort of loops around itself. It tries to stick, and then if it does, if it does like crease, you literally just peel it back, and then it will fold round again. It's just trial and error. It does go on quite easy, actually, to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a real pain to do. Okay, have I lost that decal somewhere? By the looks of it, yes. There's meant to be a decal on there, and it's, uh, yeah, it's not there. <laughs> okay, where's that gone? Interesting. All right, so there's a turret. You want to put you want to put these on as well before you do any sort of weathering. It's so like before you do like all your washes. Um, I, I've put one wash on it because it was green, because I didn't want a green wash over this. Um, let's just check this out. Yeah, that's that one. The thing is with decals, the more you let them soak, the easier they are to work with. So they come off the paper really easy. Ah, oh, Liam's transferred all his paints. Well done, Liam. Feels great, doesn't it? <laughs> and I bet it looks really nice to see. Okay, so that's the two on the turret. All right, so that's the two on the turret. And so I've got three more to do so get a bit more water yeah you should try the dot camos like i say it's pretty straightforward but it looks really cool I don't actually know technically when it was actually meant to be used, that dot camo, but I, I don't really care. I just do it because it looks really nice. It's probably late war of some sort. I, don't, I, I doubt very much it's early war. Just let them soak for a minute. Yeah, we got the old uh, German Africa core here starting to get built. Contrast video coming for them this week, hopefully. Should be on Saturday, I'm hoping. I'm not going to do the whole army in contrast. I'll just do uh, I'll do one of the models in contrast, and then I'll strip it, and uh, I'll probably end up uh, doing those painted in normal paint scheme. Maybe depends. It might look really nice in contrast, so I might actually do them in contrast. Sitting in parking lot at work. 
gonna clock in at 3 p.m. <laughs> where about whereabouts are you? Are you in the US, are you? Got quite a few subscribers in America, actually. Same with Canada. I don't know where it is. Three PM in the world. Yep, yeah, Kentucky, Lexington. Well, thank you for joining the stream. It's half past seven at night here in the UK, and uh, yeah, it's very cold. <laughs> It's only about eight degrees Celsius or something like that. And I want a cup of tea. Liam, go and get me a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, no, he's not here. Put the kettle on. Oh, he probably put the kettle on at his house now. Is the weather nice over there? Such a British thing to ask, isn't it? Is the weather nice? It's another thing I'm really bad for is uh, trying to get all the um, mold lines off. Just picked up my first bolt action models on Friday. I'm super excited uh, to get my Germans built and painted. Oh, nice one, Sean. Um, what did you go for? Did you go for like uh, early war grenad? Um, sorry, early war hair, or did you go for grenadiers, SS, uh, Africa Corps? So it's warm, basically. <laughs> oh, Grenadiers. Yeah, Grenadiers, mate. Just don't do what I did. <laughs> it's very tempting to uh, to build the wall with assault rifles, but for game practicality reasons, it's not great. I need half-tracks and stugs. You don't need stugs. Right. Liam, If Liam was here right now, he'd be going, you don't need stugs. And he's right. You don't need stugs, right? If you... um. What you want to get is Panzer Fours. You want to get a Panzer Four, okay, with the longer gun. So I think it's the J. Um, it's the same point. It's five more points. So it's 240 points to 235. Or Liam will quote it in the chat. I'm sure he will. And um, you get Tiger Fear, which is a great rule. Everyone has to roll uh, leadership to even do anything. Um. The gun's better. It's a, it's it. Well, it's the gun's the same, but it you get the turret obviously, which you don't suffer for uh, having a having to advance because with the stug, you obviously only got that forward arc. It's it's better. Get the Panzer IV. Hundred <laughs> percent. Get the Panzer IV. Because I have both, and I want to cry every time I get the Stug out. Because <laughs> I thought the same as you, right? I thought Stug, anti-tank gun. I thought, oh, it's going to be sweet. It's a tank destroyer. But for some reason, bolt action, but Stugs just look mean. They do, and I agree. They are. They they look absolutely awesome. But you want if you if you're going to play in like games, it depends if um, depends how your opponent is. If you're playing against friends and stuff, because. You could add a rule in, I guess. You could add an extra rule in with uh, tank destroyers, maybe. Uh, they've got, because it doesn't say they've got better front of armor, but you could add that in. Um, Panzer IV is definitely the way to go if you're going to be playing in, uh, well, if you're going to be playing against people you don't normally play against. If you had the choice to pick the Stug or the Panzer, I would uh, do the Panzer IV. I bought a Hetzer today just because it looks so da yeah, it does though that's the problem rubicon models as well dude if instead of you don't have to, i don't know if you knew but rubicon models instead of using uh warlord models uh Rubic rubicon are really cool they give you all the options on their models i got some concrete 47 stuff on saturday some germans with lasers and gas masks and some lizard winged creatures now that sounds awesome that sounds awesome. Oh, oh no, that's another game system to play, Liam. Conflict 47. 
That's more money. No. <laughs> what are they trying to do to us? I'll tell you what, though. If you all want old uh, hobby tips, you know, I'll put a link. Let's see if I can find it. I hope I would hope so. Anyway, <laughs> or gaming. Yeah, let's get the old. Uh... I'll put a link to it in in the chat, just in case. Some of you are interested. There's the Facebook group. Join the Facebook group. You'll love hobby. Join it and start put, posting pickies on there so we can actually see some work. Don't be afraid if you don't think it's any good. You know, there's always there's always room for improvement and everyone has their own skill level. I'm not the greatest painter in the world and I don't tend to be. I don't expect myself to be um anytime soon really i'm average um it's just if we all help each other out everything starts to look better but you can post pickies in there you can ask questions um if you want to ask a question about something i'm sure someone in the group will answer if it's during the uk times of being awake normally between the hours of eight o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock at night i'm sure i can answer a question if you've got it or gumbo liam will Come along, join the Facebook group. I'm tempted to build it as a fame pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't even say that. I've asked for Christmas for the old uh, Rubicon uh, kit to go with the half track where you can turn it into a, a, fl a flame half track. Oh, oh, that's going to be devastating. For sure, I haven't painted anything remotely historical in about 20 years. Picked up 40k when I was around 12, just lost historical bug. I'll tell you what, I was the opposite, right? I've only been in the hobby two, well, just over two years. It's all Liam's fault. All Liam's fault, right? Just blame Liam, okay? This is all Liam's doing. If it wasn't for Liam, this channel wouldn't exist. Basically, I got into 40k. I got hooked with the bug of the God Emperor, because there is only one God. And his, and his name is the Emperor of Mankind. Um, <laughs> and then I've always loved World War II history. I mean, I love it. I absolutely love World War II history. Um, I'm quite patriotic, so I, I, I love I love the British Army. And um, I saw this game, and I was like, I must play this game. I must I must play this game. So Liam was thinking about playing it for ages, and then I went, I've bought a British Army, British Airborne Army for forty pounds. And as soon as I did that, I, he was like, I bought a Russian one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's how Bolt Action started. And then it just uh, it just never stopped. Liam has done a vid, believe it or not. Liam just needs to post some more. Vid he has done a video. I need to edit it. It is coming out this week. I haven't edited it yet, but he has done a video. A very nice one, actually, about 3D printing models. So um I just need to edit it. It won't take me very long, but he has sent me it. That reminds me, actually. I might do it after I've ended the stream, but it will come out this week. Just the Italian so far. Hmm. <laughs> I think everyone thought I killed him, you know, after all those bat reps losing them so badly. But, um, yeah, let's uh, see how we're going. Let's finish. I'll tell you what, that's uh, doing that. That's doing that. Let's just check on these, how they are drying. Yeah, they're drying well. Okay, these have been in here long enough now. All right, let's get these decals out. All right, 51. All right, there's one. Sorry, I just need to concentrate with that bit. It's <laughs> uh, got to go to work. I'll finish post production. Thanks all for your help. No worry, no worries at all, Brenda. Um, see you soon. Get some pictures on the Facebook. Let us know what's going on. 
Have a good day. Nice. I blame my local. I blame my local <laughs> store manager. He mentioned something about it. <laughs> he got scenario. In. I wanted to hop in, so the bug began. Oh, didn't it just the bolt action bug? And the worst thing is, the bolt action bug hasn't gone. It's turned into a bolt action hobby. <laughs> it's not one of those five minute fasts. I've even put forty k on the back burner. I can't believe it. I've got a Tau army sitting there. I really want to paint it as well. Got Lord of the. Oh, that that's another thing. I don't know why, but for some reason, bolt action has somehow got me into wanting to do Lord of the Rings. Don't know why. I've never done fantasy before. I've got to admit, I did always want to play the fantasy uh, battle games. It was a shame when I joined again and it was Age of Sigma. Um, I really did want to play fantasy. I'm sure Gumbo's got a couple of fantasy armies. We'll have to have a game one day. Tell contrast video, boom. <laughs> it nearly happened, Seb. I was painting one and then uh, I lost the footage, so I'll have to do it again. But I wasn't sure on what colour I was going to do it. I was experimenting and stuff, but yeah. I'm sure you'd like the towel contrast video, because I, if I remember rightly, you've got quite a bit of towel. Last one. Come on, come on, come on, transfer. This one does not want to come. I've got to admit, it is a very small transfer. There it is, got it. Everyone has a draw of shame. <laughs> I promised to paint all my models before, but I, do you know what? I promise that all the time. And for once, it's been two months. It, right, let's let's start it now. Hi, my name's Ken, and I'm addicted to plastic crack. <laughs> Hi, Ken. <laughs> I, I've promised myself that many a times, and guess what? We're probably going to end up going to a model fair at some point, and I'm going to be like, yeah, I want those models, and I'm going to buy them, and I'm still going to have loads to paint and loads to do but ah oh dear i don't know i'm doing quite well though i bought a model in two months sisters are coming i need to clear my desk <laughs> oh liam marsh liam marsh loves the sisters right cromwell's drying now happy days I know that whole North Korean army behind you. Shh. <laughs> you need to put, it's when you need to box your clothes up to make space for plastic. Uh, yeah. Not done that at all. <laughs> to be fair, Gumbo, I could paint that whole North Korean army in one day. Contrast. Right, more army green is done. So let's crack on with uh, getting another challenge accepted. <laughs> Stop it, Seb. Stop it. <laughs> you evil man. <laughs> I know you want more content. Do it. Do it. I should do it on a live stream, shouldn't I? Oh, what have I done? I've just said, no, I can't redact it either. No, no, what have I done? I can't be saying things like that out loud. It'll give people ideas. What have I done? Do it on a live stream. It's on the internet now. you got to do it. <laughs> Oh no. Oh man. 
<sighs> oh no. Do I? Don't I? That could be a contrast video and a half though. It could. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I could uh have you painted any vehicles with contrast yet? Enjoy your contrast tour so far. Thank you. Uh, cheers, Greg. Um, I have tried, and I'm not going to lie to you, contrast is not the best for vehicles. Unless, I say unless, the vehicle is very, um, oh, what's the word? Jagged. Not a load of flat panels like this. So, for example, uh, trying to think of a good example for it. Small tanks, small armoured cars. Um, it's good for that sort of thing. Um, but it's big, large panels like you've got here, the contrast. The problem is it pulls and, it, yes, it sits in a recess, but it causes splodging and it just doesn't look right. Um Someone will probably do it at some point and perfect a way to do it, probably by filling it down. Um, but I found with vehicles as well, especially recently, the best way to paint them is to do loads of thin coats, like I'm doing now, and then washes, like a really deep wash. You want in the recess, like a known oil, really dark. And um, you, you want to go with that. And then same time, so like say like you've got green here. I've got the Estonian camo shaver in Games Workshop. You can get the, I think, um, Army Painter do a green tone ink. But you want to water it down 50-50. And when you water it down, it doesn't leave the smear in. It just it covers it, but it darkens it. I've, I've put a green wash on this Cromwell, yeah? It's had a green wash on it. You can't really see the splodging. But you can see the green in the recesses. It has worked really well. You notice how I changed the subject from that North Korean army. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'd love to do I, I tell you what, I, I, I would love to do it. I'm close to saying doing it, but it would make one hell of a video, wouldn't it, to actually do that. Could I do it in eight? Could I do it? In, could I do it in eight hours? Start to finish? Could I do the whole army in eight hours? Let me do a bit of basic maths in my head. 24-hour live stream to pay the North Koreans when. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't think it would take me 24 hours. I don't think it would. Because they're metal, they're metal miniatures. So it's literally a case of gluing them to the gluing them to the bases, super glue. By the time I've glued them, the first ones will be ready to be primed. Ah. Oh. You guys, I don't know what you're doing to me. I think Liam should get in on the action as well, you know. <laughs> he can bring me food. Ken boy, you and Liam should do test of honor. Oh, don't make me do another one, Elliot. <laughs> Not another system. Not another one. But in all seriousness, I don't think the North Koreans would take me 24 hours. But there's certain parts, like uh, you've got the flag bearer and stuff like that. I'd like to do that, the flag and normal paint. Um, unless I really thin the contrast down. Ooh. So you're making me think now. Dual live stream, paint and face off. <laughs> we know I'd win. Ouch. Burn, Liam. He's probably going to hide in a corner somewhere. Liam and Ken, who can paint the most in in a four out of four hour? <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Do you think I should do the old uh, live stream contrast then? The whole army. What day is it today? It's Wednesday, isn't it? It's Wednesday. If I did it Saturday, 
it would literally be a case of I wouldn't start it first thing in the morning UK time. I'd probably start it around about 12. And maybe give myself 12 hours to see how it did it. But if I'm going to do it any Saturday, it would have to be this Saturday because my other half is out. And it's peace and quiet. <laughs> It would be a challenge, wouldn't it? <sighs> I'll tell you what, Sean. I'll do it this weekend, this Saturday. 24 hour live stream, right? Oh, not 24 hour live stream. What am I talking about? Uh, just a, I'll do it on a live stream, right? With this camera. Do you think it would look all right on this camera, though? I'm thinking I'd do it if when my other half gets home, I find out what time she's disappearing. And if you see it up later tonight, I'll do it. I'll put it, I'll put a I'll put a post on the uh, the old Facebook group, but you got to join the Facebook group. If you join the Facebook group, it could be it, it should be on. Link is in the chat. What do you guys do to me? Peer pressure me in to do all this stuff. And the chat has gone quiet. <laughs> Good. At least I got away with not doing the North Koreans. <laughs> Kushti. You still there, huh? Seb, are you gone? Still trying to get more green on here. Still trying to make it not opaque. It's getting there. It's starting to look better.
Uh, draw again. Give the old paintbrush a clean out. You guys still hear me, all right? No. <laughs> Sorry, been cooking. Yeah, cheers, Gambo. I needed you here to defend me. They want me to do it. They want me to do a live stream on uh, Saturday, painting the North Koreans. And yes, you can win a painting competition. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> Cheers for the defense. The question is, do I? You do it to yourself. <laughs> oh, don't I just. Oh, man. Yeah, you are right. I do do it to myself. Spot on with that one. Right, so that's that. So let's get back to the Cromwell anyway. Uh, we are going to go with... Painting... Little bits and bobs, so like... Um, spade and all the tools um go with that next so take the turret off <laughs> oh no m's about <laughs> you're right em. it's the world famous m I can vote for a, the live stream. You can. I vote for the live stream. You need. You need to put a like, Elliot. You need to put a like to the video. That's what you need to do. Listening to this while I've been working on my portfolio. <laughs> That's what you need to listen to, Elliot. You know, get some hobbying. Technically, you're hobbying. It's great. Right, let's get some known oil. That's what we need to do. Uh, Beltane green. Where is the known oil? Oh, we're done with it. Oh, there it is. No, that's the old one. Where's the known oil gone? I've lost it. No, there it is. All right, get some known oil. Get some bad and black. Hello. Everybody's joining now. We were just talking about should I do a uh, live stream on Saturday with uh, North Koreans, do the army or not? Do I do I do the North Koreans on Saturday? Oh, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Now you have to. <laughs> there's, there's no have to about it, Gumbo. Don't even go there. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I am very tempted thinking about it. 
I am extremely tempted. I think I could do it in eight hours, you know. I think I could. It'd be non-stop, but I think I could do it. I don't know. What does everybody think? Do they think I could do it in eight hours? <laughs> yeah, but they're not building, are they? They're metal miniatures. So it's literally a case of glue. <laughs> glue. <laughs> so it's like, hmm, I think I might be able to do that. But then... Uh, I could just accept the challenge. <sighs> Left voucher. To be fair, that will make it easier. Super glue will set in time for each spray. Yes, it would. Yes, it, yes, it would. Problem is, though, because of the stream. Oh, I, I would have that airbrush, but it'd be the first thing I did with the airbrush. Ooh, interesting. I don't know if I'd have to um, do the priming and the spraying off, but if it's raining, this is true. But if I've got that airbrush, hmm, interesting. I could always try it with that airbrush, could I? That could be like my test. But it literally mean getting home and trying the airbrush. I would prefer just to rattle can it. Probably on that occasion. Uh, let's go that. Airbrushing isn't bad. Used to shoot the primer and the base coat. Yeah, but I've never done it. This would be my first time. Um, literally, first time set up. So it would literally be brand new to me. It'd be nice to have a practice, but this Saturday would be the best day to probably do the live stream <laughs> your comments been held for you I don't think I can actually put that up, believe it or not, Liam. Or can I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can actually, yeah. You had some experience with airbrushing then, Sean, have you? The next problem is I shouldn't be airbrushing because it's a Christmas present. So it's a moral dilemma as well. Liam as a moderator. <laughs> Shouldn't ban your comments then, Gumbo. I say shouldn't. Brush it on, don't rush it. Oh no, I'm not brushing it on. No, that that's that's a no no. 
Oh no, I couldn't brush it on. Ah, do I do it? Do I do it? I guess I could live stream and then always uh, I could video it as well as live streaming it. And then I could not put the live stream up and then put the edit the video to put that up as a video. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. <laughs> Thinking about that. <laughs> Because the camera, the camera, the camera's, um, yeah, the Logitech camera. I wouldn't want to completely put that on YouTube. I think it would be a waste of the whole project. It's all right to see me doing this stuff, um, to drop in and drop out. But if you want a nice detailed video and stuff, it would be nice to actually edit it. Um, or do a time lapse, maybe. Put both up. What do you think about a time lapse? I know the tank one. I did a tank one earlier on this month. It, it was mixed reviews. I wasn't sure if people disliked it because it was short or they wanted to see more detail. I'm not too sure, but a couple of people disliked it, um, which is not a drama. No one's entitled to their opinion, but it'd be nice to know why they disliked it. Mixing the paint shot from the airbrush consistency of skimmed uh, milk. What's the weather meant to be like this weekend on Saturday? Let's have a look. It is meant to rain. Okay. But I could prime them beforehand and just do the painting. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. I could pry, like I say, I could prime them before. Prime them for well, if it's raining, <laughs> I'm not going to have much choice. <laughs> And how can I prime beforehand on the stream anyway? I'm not going to stand in my room. Oh, it's about 140, Seb. That's just for the airbrush and the compressor. Uh, about another 60 for the actual station. Um, but it's secondhand, the airbrush and the compressor. Normally 300 odd quid. <laughs> Or pounds, I should say. Right, so that's that. I'm going to dry a little bit. And how's this looking, the half track? Yeah, the half track's looking pretty cool. Definitely a few more coats on there. Maybe another three coats um, before that is completely cushy. Use a cardboard box station to win. Yeah, I need an extractor fan, though, because I don't fancy breathing in nasty, nasty chemicals. Um, I am very tempted to do it Saturday, though. Not going to lie. I'll have to find out what the timings and uh, go from there, I think. If 
find out what's happening. But yeah. Well, thanks for the likes on the video, guys. Appreciated. Really is appreciated. And don't forget, check out the Facebook page. Join the Facebook to uh links in the links in the chat. Get all the news for the channel. You'll see if I'm gonna do this Saturday. It's just nice for everybody in that chat because Post your hobby stuff up there. Like I say, ask any questions you want as well. Do, do, do. Right. Okay. I think my other half has just come home anyway. She's coming up the stairs as we speak. If she's really nice, she'll shut the door. <laughs> she's really nice, shut the door. <laughs> Right, get that in there, get that down there. Okay, right. And again. Wicked. Hope she won't stumble in like someone else. <laughs> still on the thing <laughs> sorry that's so funny I'll never forget that time we were doing filming and then <laughs> coming drunk <laughs> oh what some outtakes they were oh it did make me giggle giggle a lot So my airbrush setup has Bentley 2 with LED tank compressor, hose, cleaning station, mask, Iowa, and somewhere around. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, sweet. Do you mainly use your airbrush for priming, do you, Sean, or do you use it for pretty much everything? Is that sort of airbrush good for, like, detailed work, or is it, like, basing? There's the army green for the minute. I'll stop that. Okay. Priming, uh, vase coat, uh, blocking in colours. I clean up with detail and a brush. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you, here's, here's a tip for you. I've seen a lot of people shoot the Citadel contrast paints um, through the airbrush, 
and they've found it doesn't act like contrast, it acts like a wash. So that could be worth a try. Um, so, yeah, uh, maybe give that a go on a test model or something, just shoot one of the contrast paints through, see what that looks like. As you know, They said it acts more like a wash than it does um, the contrast style. Right, let's get a wash going on here, actually, while we're thinking about it. I'm going to have to give that a go. That would save <laughs> some more time. Yeah, exactly. If it acts like a wash, try it, innit? All right. Okay. So 50-50, no oil, and a wash. I don't want that green. 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 Don't do that to me. All right. So I want this model to be quite dirty. So I'm going to go over the whole thing with this wash here. So I'm going to give it a coat, just one coat of it. It's no oil, watered down, the whole thing. But then what I'm going to do after is go in with just straight non oil where I want it to be really dirty. And I find that works really well. I'll tell you what, Sean, when I get my airbrush set up and all that, mate, I'm going to try that as well. So. Right, cool. That's that wash there and just the turret now. Just enough paint as well. Cool, that's that. All right, so that's got to dry. And that out of the dry. Happy days. All right, next bit. Okay. All right, I'm just going to build these. Uh, last couple of models um, and then I'm going to probably call end up calling the stream done for the evening. Um, has anyone got any more questions they want to ask before we uh, obviously uh, shut the stream down? Now's the time. Do I do that today? Guy like that. A rifleman. I need a loader. So let's get him carrying an ammo case. Do what I want. Yeah, let's get him carrying the ammo case. Show us what you have achieved tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll show, I'll certainly shall. I'll show you that before we... Uh... 
before we go. Which there's a way you could stick a picture up of your uh, your transfer paints, Liam. That would definitely be an interesting one, wouldn't it? What does everyone think if I make a <laughs> ice slip? <laughs> You're right, Mox. I'll be on TeamSpeak in a minute. Yeah, good, mate. Good. All right, let's get these grenadiers done. I'm not saying grenadiers, Africa Corps. Get a load of guy on the go. You missed a bit over on the leg. <laughs> You made me lose my train of thought now, what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I might make uh, Wednesday nights, maybe streaming night. Apart from when I'm on court at work, of course. But Wednesday nights, hopefully it'll be a good streaming night. Do, 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 do. Bloody knives. I haven't said an F word all night. Clean your desk, you dirty, dirty boy. Greetings, everyone. <laughs> Clean that flash. Ah, the great step in building minis. Yes, it is. You missed all the painting. <laughs> I was just saying about making Wednesdays possibly streaming night. Seems to be going quite well, to be fair. We've been talking about maybe on Saturday doing a live stream for the North Koreans. <laughs> would a law allow that day? Yeah, she would actually, but you or not. She's going soft on you. Yeah, she is. Can you believe I never used to clean this flash off my models? Ever. Why? Why? Why, why, why? I don't blame you. I know. <laughs> What do you reckon? I, I, I have posted my paints on the Facebook. Oh, very nice. There you go. See, look. 
Stick a link in, Liam, so people got a link to it. Oh yes. Oh look, you've got a cheeky, uh, cheeky preview of what's to come. <laughs> That's of course if it will let you post it. I'm sure it will. Let's just check. Yeah, there you go. That's your photo in it. You're a moderator. Have you not noticed you got that little uh, tool symbol next to your name? And mods behave themselves. I have the power. Yes, you do. You are the law. <laughs> No chance of running to this running the stream. No chance. <laughs> do you know the one thing they don't do on this Africa court kit that's really annoying? They don't put enough rifles. It's frustrating. Very very frustrating. Right. It's going to have to be that one, isn't it? Uh, yes, I, I certainly would do if I wasn't silly and decided to chuck my spares away from my grenadier sprues. Oh, no. Actually, technically, no, because I got those commission painted and they, they kept the spares and give me a discount. So, no, I don't, unfortunately. It would be nice, though, if they could give you some more options instead of, like, four rifle options, especially when rifles are the main main weapon systems. Got to admit, though, I do love the old MG34. They're, they're, they're pretty uh, pretty sweet. I wish, I, I, see, I quite like the machine guns being in the laying down place. I know, foolish mistake, isn't it? As I'm a ground ear boy, STG4. Yes, that's me. <laughs> that was pretty much what I got uh, Got my models based as, so. Still, it doesn't help when you need a load of rifles. Even though they do look very cool. Can I say technically they are rifles? They're assault rifles. <laughs> oh dear. Be careful you're breaking dropping them like that. They've reinforced plastic. I won't break them. Because remember, plastic is fantastic. Come on, glue. Come on, glue. Work. Don't abandon me now. There it is. Get hopped on two guys with STG for yours, two in one unit, short range MMG with an officer, so to speak. <laughs> there we 
my guy. Let's try and sort this out. I do miss the multiple the arms where you don't have to faff about trying to line them up. Ugh. I do hate having to line these up properly. There we go. Right, getting there, last two bits. I think you need more than five hands to put these together. Right. Backpack. Oh, yeah, motorcycle. Um, we were, um, they were saying earlier in the stream about doing, uh, on Saturday, me doing like a live stream for the old North Korean army. <laughs> what do you think of that? Like painting the whole thing in one, one sitting on this Saturday. Or a Saturday in the very near future, but this Saturday would be ideal. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Can it be done? That is the question. Can it be done? Yeah, 24 hour stream. It doesn't need 24 hours. I think I'm going to have to block out, block out a Saturday. In the very near future and just do it maybe put enough notice up on the on the channel maybe a couple of weeks Ooh, yeah all right challenge accepted yeah i probably would paint today well, well, I like call out <laughs> crazy Ken. No, challenge is accepted. Not this Saturday, though. I will put a date in the calendar, I think, and I will start at maybe eight in the morning and maybe go through till eight at night, something like that. Um, but yeah, crazy Ken, crazy Ken always has these ideas, but we will do it with the North Koreans. Um, that will make them be painted and i'll do them in contrast so i think yes add that to the stream so that is uh that's gonna get done that's gonna get done on a saturday i think and uh yeah so stream's gonna end now guys um just gonna show you what i've done um uh, just for clarification painted the main base colors of this up uh, this half track up got the green up i've put about four coats on it now Move this light over a little bit. So yeah, I've put about four coats of uh, army green on there. It's just looking pretty good now. That's getting to the consistency. Maybe one or two more coats. Is that a daylight lamp? Um, do you know what? My missus got me this for uh, 
the Christmas last year, actually. It does like all these different colours. Uh, you can see it. You can probably see all the, the stream going mad. Different tones trying to balance it out, white balance it. But yeah, no, it's really bright. It's uh, it's very bright indeed. It works very well. I want a second one, obviously, so you get the proper shadow effect. But yeah, so I managed to do that. I've also got the decals on the Cromwell. Again, lift this up. Let's see if I can get the, get the lighting well. Yeah, there we go. So I've got the decals in the front, decals in the rear. I've also managed to put wash on it and paint some of it and paint the details ready to go so realistically that just needs weathering now oh sorry one more thick wash and then weathering but there's the turret just getting that done cool and believe it or not i've got three or four of these guys painted as well not painted built um so i've managed to do that but yeah, no, it's been a, been a really good stream. Really enjoyed it. Um, very, uh, very, very interesting. What about some wear and tear battle damage? Yeah, that'll be next time. <laughs> I've got videos on that. You can watch them. But yeah, it's been about two hours. So uh, yeah, it's been really good. No, go and clean those brushes. Yes, yes, clean those brushes. Indeed, that is a very important thing. Get that, get that in there. Get that in there. That is brush care at its finest. I've got the brush cleaner out. There you go. I'll do it. I'll do it for you, motorcycle. Get it in there. Give it a clean. Get all the get all the dirt out of them. <laughs> that <Little> boy. <laughs> There we go. Give him a rinse. There we go. Good as new. Good as new. And they're back in the they're back in the stand. Thanks for reminding me of that. But yeah, um, that's all that for today. Uh, thanks very much for joining. Really appreciate it. It's been a really good stream. Do a good bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you trying to do to me, Liam? I'm trying to end the stream here, mate. But yeah, thanks very much, guys. And don't forget, you've got the old Patreon in the Facebook. So if you're interested in that, you can always head over there. You can uh, find links to that in the uh, in the videos on the channel. But yeah, thanks very much, guys. And uh, see you around soon.